In terms of the placement of Officer Chauvin's, excuse me, uh, knee to Mr. Floyd, is it your opinion that Mr. Chauvin's knee in any way impacted the structures of Mr. Floyd's neck? No, it did not. And None of the vital structures um, were in the area where the knee appeared to be from the videos. And what injuries did you observe in the photographs of Mr. Floyd? All of his injuries were in areas where the knee was not. In other words, they were on the front of his body, um, his face, his places where he was restrained, but there was absolutely no evidence of any in injury on the skin to the subcutaneous tissue or the deeper structures of the back or the neck. You referenced the, um, the back of Mr. Floyd. Did you see any bruising to the skin? I did not see bruising or abrasion to the skin. Did you see any uh, bleeding into the subcutaneous tissues of the neck and back? No, not on the autopsy photographs, nor was it documented in the autopsy. How about to the muscles? The same. And so in your opinion, the absence of such injury, how does that speak to the cause of death? It speaks to the amount of force that was applied to Mr. Floyd was less than enough to bruise him. So in my opinion, Mr. Floyd had a sudden cardiac arrhythmia or cardiac arrhythmia due to his atherosclerotic and hypertensive heart disease, or you can write that down multiple different ways. Um, during his restraint and subdued by the police or restrained by the police. Um, and then his 